Hey guys, Terry here, AKA Lucrative Soldier, bringing you a quick little uh, maintenance tip. Um, this is something that I missed and I should have been on top of it, but because I take my vehicle to have the tires rotated, um, I missed this one. And this is something I wanna bring to your attention so you guys can uh, not make the same mistake that I made and check this on your own before it gets to the point of no return. So what I'm talking about is this here. Um, as you see, I have my front, this is my front right tire removed. Um, reason being, I was noticing a lot of grease buildup on the inside of my rim and little splatter marks, you know, all in the suspension wheel well. So, what I'm getting at is what you want to do, and this is what I failed to keep an eye on, which is check your CV boots. As you can see, my CV boot has, you know, oil buildup, grease, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so right now I'm currently at 95,000 miles and some, and it's about time for the CV uh, axle, CV boot things, that's when those things start to wear out. Um, it wears out a little sooner on some, just depends on how, uh, how hard you are on your vehicle. So, uh, my advice to you is, you know, if you're up in mileage, go ahead and give it a check, take off the wheels or get under the vehicle, check your CV boots, see if you see any oil leakage, grease, uh, sorry, grease leakage coming out of the boot. Um, if you do, then you should have your boot replaced. Um, otherwise you're going to get to the point where there's no grease in there and then your ball bearings start to grind. And then you end up in my situation where when I make sharp turns, I hear the click, 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 click sound, which means now I have to replace my CV axle. Um, which is, you know, the whole unit right there that goes up into the drive. With that said, the price of having the boot replaced is a little cheaper than having to redo the whole axle. Uh, but at the same time, I've heard that you might as well redo the whole thing because the only difference you're going to pay is the price in the parts, which is uh, a small amount, I believe. Uh, I will keep you guys updated on, you know, how we handle this. But, um, you know, labor's gonna be the same. It takes the same amount of labor to replace the shaft as to, you know, replace the boot. So, uh, keep an eye on that, that uh, CV shaft boots and et cetera, all that stuff around there and watch for your leakage and check on it. Another item to watch is your, um, your ball joint right here. Um, you can see mine's, you know, wearing and tearing, so I'm going to be replacing that also. So, you know, just look out for these things when you're doing your maintenance inspection um, and don't miss it and wait till it's too late. Um, you know, that's already failing. I can see it ripping. If you look close, you can see how it's starting to rip in there. Um, you know, I haven't noticed any problems with it. But now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely something I want to replace before it gets worse. All right, guys, that's it for this maintenance tip. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. You could also leave a comment down below and let me know some maintenance tips of your own or some suggestions for upcoming videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.